What's up everyone, you got Mind Circus here with you and another Guild Wars 2 new player tip and today we're going to be taking a look at API keys. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, new to Guild Wars 2 or just haven't done so yet, I am currently farming likes and subscribes. If you would do me the favor of doing one of these down below the video would really help out and at this point we're just looking to build the channel. And with that out of the way, let's talk about API keys. We're going to uh, do a two part video this time. This first part is going to talk about what API keys are, how we're going to get them and what we're going to use them for. And in the second video, we're going to go over a couple of websites that use these API keys in order to give us some really, really valuable information. So let's get started here at this point. First off, what is an API key? Your API key is actually a string of text about your account that you generate and you can give to third party applications or websites that will help get information about your account and present it in ways that you may not have been able to in game. That really is kind of the short end of the stick. It's really a way for other applications to access information about your account. It's read only, it's very safe. There is really no problem about it. And we're gonna go through the process of getting your API key first. So our first step in getting our API key is actually to go to the Guild Wars 2 website. When we go to the Guild Wars 2 website, we've got a link up here in the corner that says account. And if we click on that, we get our account login page. Once we've got our account login page, we're just gonna log into the website. From here, we're gonna click on this button that says applications. Once the applications page is loaded, we can see API key management where we can get a new key or see any of the old keys that we've previously generated. Now, if we click on new key at this point, it's going to give us some options. We can give it a name. We can tell it what pieces of information about our account are able to be accessed by this key. Okay. So what I'm going to do in all cases is I'm going to click all of these. There really isn't any reason not to. If you're worried, you know, about who you're sharing this information with, you shouldn't be sharing it with them in the first place, I guess is the best way to do it. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to give full permissions and then I'm going to click create API key. So once we've created the API key, we actually here on the API key management area have the options to do a couple of different things. We can see the keys that we've created. All right, there is a maximum, I believe it's 200 or 250 keys that you can create. So you really shouldn't be running into any kind of problems. We have the ability to delete, okay? We have the ability to edit permissions if we click on this. We can see the key here if we want it. And we have the option here to get a QR code for it, or this little option here, which will copy it to our clipboard. And really that's it. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a text editor and I'm going to paste that in for future benefit. So the question at this point becomes, what is the value in what we've just done? So I'm going to give you a couple of different examples. And then in part two of this video, I'm going to show you a couple of websites that really leverage these API keys in some pretty interesting and fantastic ways. So here's one of the ways that we're going to use it. If we come here to the wiki and we look at Mastery Point Unlocks, the Mastery Point Unlocks page, and we wanted to get a kind of a quick view of which masteries that we have unlocked and which we haven't, if we go in here and paste our API key and hit apply, so you, so you can see there's a few, uh, a few mastery points that I haven't gotten in the game. And these are all really easily seen from this page. And this gives us a good idea of things that we want to work on, ways to get them. And the bonus of this is if we're doing it on the wiki, we can actually come in here and click any of these and get a lot of quick information about how we're going to access them. So another example of how we can use the API keys to make our life a little easier is these die kits that we get on our birthdays. Now, if you are unaware, after a certain year, you start getting these die kits for your birthday. And inside the die kits, if we open and use these, we have other die kits. And inside these, we'll have dies that we may or may not have access to. The question becomes, how do we know if we have access to them or not? And which of these should I open? So what I do in this case is I actually come to the wiki and in the wiki, I will pull up the page on say the exuberant die kit. And this will give me a list of everything that's in the kit, but also this area here where I can paste in 
my API key, apply it, easily see which of these dies I have yet to unlock. And then I can just come back in here and choose which of these I wish to. And it's that simple. It really is kind of a simple system. In the next video, I'm going to get into some more advanced ways to use these API keys. But until then, take a look at it, get your API keys ready. In the next video, we're actually going to take a look at Guild Wars 2 Efficiency and GW2Crafts.net. And with that out of the way, hey, I'm going to thank you guys very much for watching. I'm just going to remind you to have fun in game and min-max your real life. And we'll see you again in the mists.